MustangMedic.com. Day two of the 1992 Mustang LX Fox Body Project. Part two of a two part series. Got this completion thing going on that he wants me to video him doing all the work. I don't know what's going on. I started it. I, I, think, he's, uh, I think he's trying to, like, he's working on his image or something. But we work on these things together, guys, darn it. Yeah, um, we do. We do. The uh, thermostat is in, the gasket is in. We are snugging up the bolts, and uh, there's a good half inch of bolt to thread into this thing. These are pretty long, actually, in this car. They were shorter on the uh, on the Cobra project for some reason. Maybe somebody had changed them out before us. But I think this is an original thermostat. This sucker was jammed up, which is just great news for Jeff because last night he was getting a little concerned about this. So we may have fixed his problem for much less money than a new radiator. This is a this is a thermostat, a jammed up thermostat. So if we get this done, it's going to cost them a lot less than it would have cost them for us to put it, change a whole radiator out. So the blessing is his. And our blessing is just getting the opportunity to work on cars. And this is our Fox body, guys. We are working on a Fox body. I wish a socket wrench would fit in onto this nut, on this bolt. <laughs> bolt, but nut bolt. What is it? Nut bolt, caliper, uh, rotor. rotor. You know, you know what I mean, guys. The only time we really have problems with that is when we're ordering parts. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cut. okay, so we have got the thermostat in, secured with the gasket. Ricky has got the hose line connected with the clamps. And there's Ricky underneath getting ready to give you a video shot of this overflow bottle to see if this thing is actually connected to the radiator. And there is a line that connects to the overflow tank. Let's see. All right, let's burp her. Let's run her and burp her. If you see the Mustang Medic truck out there, please say hello. We'd love to talk to you. Mustangmedic.com. I saw on day one we power washed this. It actually came out quite nice. It's a quick job. And we're pleased with the results. Power washers are awesome. So Ricky's going to start the engine up. I've got a hose. And we are burping the radiator to see if there's any air pockets in it because it was about, I want to say, six inches low on water, which was not helping the car run cool last night. This is after five minutes of trying to get it started, but Ricky didn't get the distributor line connected, but now it's connected. So let's try it now, Rick. Oh, isn't that amazing? <laughs> Here's my son freezing. Ah! Okay. So we're not going to see any flow until we get up to 160. And then we should see water flow going through. So the next clip we'll see will be flow. We're waiting for it to reach up. We're waiting for it to reach up to 160. So now we just sit here and watch this temperature gauge like we watched it last night. All right, here's the power steering, and I'm opening her up, and holy cow, it's pretty dark in there. It's pretty dirty, and it looks like it's over full. So we're going to get a turkey baster, and we're going to pull it out, and then we're going to put a portion of Lucas Stop Leak um, power steering additive. It works really well and it should uh, quiet up his uh, power steering. This is a Lucas power steering stop leak. We kind of live by this. This quiets up. Fords typically have a problem 
uh, with their power steering and they squeal. We put a little bit of this stuff into the power steering and it quiets it up. We used it on the 69, we're going to use it on the 71, we used it on the 95 Cobra, the 94, what else have we used it on? GT. Oh, the GT 5.0 convertible. We love this stuff. It works really well and it quiets up your power steering. Even if your steering is good, it makes a little hissing sound, this is a good product to use. Lucas Power Steering Stop Leak. We're going to um, use a turkey baster to pull out some of this crap that's in here and get some uh, space and we're going to probably put half a bottle into there. Lucas, power steering bleak. Stop it. This is a free ad for you guys in Lucas. Enjoy it now. <laughs> okay, for those of you who don't cook, nor do I, I actually had to find out when somebody first suggested a turkey baster. I was like, what the heck's a turkey baster? This is a turkey baster. What it does is you can put it into this hole and you can suck out a whole ton of fluid without having to take your whole thing off. So we're pulling out that much fluid. And now we are going to replace it with Lucas. All right, so, all right, so we are now going to apply this Lucas in here. Why don't you look down the hole there, Rick? And we're probably gonna use this whole bottle. This bottle costs us about eight bucks. And we're gonna get her up to level. And we've got a little bit more. A little more. We're good. So we're gonna give her a give her out a run and uh, get her up to temperature. I'm gonna put her on the highway and see where that temperature goes. You're with me for the ride. All right, thermostat, brand new. We know that one works, tested. Old one didn't, very good news for Jeff. And uh, Lucas, stop leak, power steering fluid added. So I'm gonna take her out. All right, nighttime video test driving the 92LX. This tachometer is stuck at four, so at idle it shows four, so the tachometer is just not accurate at all. We let it idle for a little while, temperature's on normal. We're gonna take it out and uh, run her at 67 miles an hour, see if she shifts into fourth gear, and also see how the temperature holds with the new thermostat. So this is a road test. Here we go, in the dark. If you appreciate our efforts to educate, please send a donation for the cause via PayPal. Medic. Our PayPal com. email address is paypal at mustangmedic.com. Sorry for the vibration and the blurry screen, but that is a successful thermostat opening and the car is not running hot. Transmission is slipping though. We gotta look into that and find out why the transmission is, uh, is messing up at 45 miles per hour. But the temperature has been fixed, and she is running cool, even with all the slipping. Boom! So, good news. Sorry for the blur. That is success, my friends. So, he originally wanted us to change out his radiator because of the overheating problem. And we, in an hour and a half, have found that it's a thermostat. And he does not need, we do not believe he needs a new radiator at this time. So, we saved him close to $300 because we were able to diagnose the problem and figure out that it was a thermostat. That's what we do it at mustangmedic.com. Look for the link in the description for the next in our series. It's not there. Come back soon. Mustangmedic.com.